We've touched on variables a little bit in the past. What a variable is, is a possibly changing value. In many other languages, you must declare a variable before using them. With JavaScript, you don't need to do that. We can create a variable anywhere, anytime. A variable's job is to store information. We can change this information anytime we like. We can copy it to another variable. We can remove it, or we can use it. Think of a variable like a small hard drive. It stores info. You can put info in it, remove the info, modify the info, and copy it to other hard drives. Now, variables, like the rest of JavaScript, are in fact case sensitive. So, variable, the variable my name with all lower cases is not the same as variable my name with a capital M and a capital N. And I said earlier that in other languages we have to declare a variable. In JavaScript, we do have to declare a variable, but not before using it. That's the main difference. So, to declare a variable, you simply write var, which is variable. The name that you want, no quotations, is equal to and then your value with quotations around it and end it with a semicolon. So let's break this down. Variable, that starts your variable. The variable name, well, that's obviously your variable name. Your value could be anything. It could be a number, it could be your name, it could be a sentence. If your variable value has any letters in it, always use quotation marks and end it with a semicolon. I do wanna let you know that there are some reserved names so don't create a variable name that starts with alert because alert already exists as a function and we cannot overwrite this. Variable names must start with a letter, an underscore, or a dollar sign, and it must contain no spaces. So variable dollar sign name works, name two works, underscore name works, two name does not work, pound sign name does not work. I think you're getting the point with this. The equal sign is what connects your variable to the information. You can think of that like your spinal cord, how it connects your brain to the movement in your body. A value is the information that you are assigning the variable. Again, if it has any letters, always use quotations. If your value is just a number, you don't need to quote it. And this is pretty similar in most languages. So here we have 23, 23.5. Those don't need quotations because they're numbers. You can quotation it. Now all of a sudden your variable is not a number, your variable is a string, and this one has letters, or spaces even, so you're gonna use the quotes. And again, end it with a semicolon, just like how we ended the declaration in CSS. Now, this might seem a little bit difficult at first, it really isn't though. It's like, I know, dare I say, algebra. Most people don't really like the whole algebra math thing. But you remember how x was equal to 15 and y was equal to 42 and you know so on and so on. That's pretty much the same thing we're going to do here. Now if you're going, oh man, I didn't really pay that much attention in school. Well, you don't really need to. Because we're not doing trig, we're not going to do calculus. The most math we do is basic math, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, exponents, or in this case, exponents. So <laughs> thankfully this is a web development course and not a math course. We have two different types of variables. The first kind is a local variable. A local variable cannot be accessed from outside of a function, and they are destroyed when a function stops running. Now, you don't know what a function is yet. Don't worry about that. We will get to it. The next one is a global variable, and a global variable is declared outside of a function. And it can be accessed from inside the function, and it is not destroyed when the function is finished running. So you can think of the two a little bit differently. A local variable could be like your local hometown, and a global variable would be the entire world, where the entire world is able to look in on your local town, but people from your local town aren't able to watch the entire world, because that's just too big. Now, if you're curious about functions, again, don't worry, we will get to them. But for now, you can just kind of think of them as a black hole from a TV show, how they suck anything in that gets close to it, and it spits something out on the other end. That's pretty much a function.